In this video, we'll show you how to mount and wire the X1N non-programmable, X2P programmable, and X2S smart thermostats. Using a UWP simplifies installation and is compatible with many other thermostats, which makes future upgrades quick and easy. Before we start, here's what you'll need. For your safety, power down the system at the furnace or breaker before starting. Remove the faceplate of the old thermostat. To help you remember which terminals the wires go into, take a photo and label the wires. Verify the existing wires match the wiring diagram of your new thermostat. If the wire labels don't match, refer to the literature included with your thermostat. You'll need a C wire for the X2S thermostat. The X1N and X2P are powered by two AA batteries. Hardwiring those two thermostats is optional. You can use battery power for these thermostats or wire the UWP and use battery power as a backup. To determine if you have a C wire, look at the terminals on the existing thermostat. If you don't see one, gently pull the wires out of the wall, spread them apart, and look for an extra wire that may be cut short or wrapped around the bundle. If you find a spare wire, you can use it as your C wire. If you don't have a C wire, you can either run a C wire or install a C wire adapter kit. To install a C wire adapter, refer to the Add a Common Wire C wire adapter video for instructions. Remove the wires from the terminals, then remove the existing base plate. Now position the UWP and ensure it is level. Mark the screw positions. Drill holes at the marks. Insert the supplied wall anchors and lightly tap them flush to the wall. Pull the door open and insert the wires through the back. Place the UWP over the wall anchors. Insert and tighten the supplied mounting screws until the UWP no longer moves. Do not over tighten. Insert the wires into the corresponding terminals. In this example, we're wiring the UWP for a one heat, one cool conventional system. We'll set the R slider tab to the up position since this is for a one transformer system. Then we'll connect to R for power, Y for compressor contactor, C for 24 VAC common, W for heat relay, and G for fan relay. Here are a couple examples of other common wiring configurations. Feel free to pause on the wiring configuration that applies to your system. Ensure the wires are secure and close the door. If you are installing an X1N, or X2P, install the batteries in the back of the thermostat. Attach your thermostat to the UWP. And restore power to your HVAC system. Now that you've finished mounting and wiring your thermostat, you'll set it up using the on-screen menus. For the X2S smart thermostat, you could alternately do the setup using the First Alert app. Refer to the literature included with your thermostat for additional information. 